Hello and welcome back to Auction Not Include. Let's play episode 164. Uh, I think it's time, now that we've got the petroleum cooker up and running, um, and we'll get to kind of get some information on how well that works, it's time to start working on our cooling, our active cooling system. We've pumped out all of the, the coolant that we had in here as part of our sort of passive cooling system. And now I think we're ready to start pumping in some, some real hydrogen and get this cooled off. I kind of want to change the way that this runs, um, like this cooling loop shouldn't be going below here. It should just be covering this area up here. Um, <clears throat> so that is something for us to work out. Uh, but for now, I think it's it's fine just to get our get our system up and running. So let's go ahead and start. Do I have the hydrogen line built? Almost uh, ventilation. Gas pipe, igneous rock, connect up across like so. Base, insulated tile. Let's fill up this room with hydrogen. And at the same time, we are about ready to start putting in some oil here. Um, plumbing, insulated liquid pipe, ceramic. Yeah, um, let's run this up through here, get this built, and then we will have liquid pipe, igneous rock, build out the rest of this. Um, do I care where I, what level I put this at? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think I particularly care what what Z level I put this at. Um, I think we want to put it at a lower level, actually, because I want a higher throughput of the system. So let's try that. Let's go ahead and say uh, base. Or sorry, uh, plumbing, liquid pipe. Igneous rock. Actually, I'll have this last part be all insulated. Like so. Liquid vent. We'll make this out of steel just to be extra cautious. I don't think... I don't remember if vents overheat. But either way. And we're going to start pumping oil out into this room. Um... Pump not in liquid, no wire connected, sure. Power wise, we're also going to need some more hookups. Um, I could, I guess, hook this up from down here. I don't think I want to. Let's instead go ahead and set up. Um, yeah, actually, deconstruct this. What is my spacing going to look like? I can have one. Two. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, furniture, flower pot. Let's just jam this over here, and in the meantime, say power, coal generator, uh, iron ore is fine. Boom, boom, and then I can stick another one here if I get done with this area. Uh, we'll say smart battery. Gold is fine. Let's grab some conductive wire. This can be made out of gold as well. This is going to hook up to our um, refineries as well. So we're going to do this a little bit awkwardly. Um, yeah, this is fine. And then we will hook up the power here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want the oil coming up yet. My bad. Whoops, I didn't want to hook up the oil line just yet. So this oil is just going to drip its way back down to here. It's not great. Okay. Yeah. So whoops, wasn't paying attention. I connected up my oil line. Hey, disconnect this, please. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want the oil flowing yet. 
Okay, we get our power set up. Uh, automation, automation wire. Make this out of gold as well. Hook this up like so. Um, we will grab some power, conductive wire. Gold is fine. <clears throat> um, hook this up from here. We'll hook up our other system over there. Okay. And I have all the plumbing done at this point, right? This will hook up to here. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead then and... Yeah, okay. Uh, base. Insulated tile, ceramic, seal this up off, and then we can start pumping in our oil here. And we can start our system pretty soon. Um, we will want to work on this area as well, but we'll we'll do that after we've gotten this oil heating up. Plant our wart seed. Yeah, whoops, turned our oil on. Didn't quite want to do that. Oh, I don't have these built yet. Okay. My bad. Yeah, get get these wires finished first. Okay, so what do I have this to? Activate if... Uh, we want to activate this if above, say, 200 is the plan. Okay. Finish up uh, the wiring first. Disabled by automation grid, perfect. Alright, so once I have the last of these built, we can go ahead and say insulated tile, uh, seal off this area. Actually, come to think of it, does this... Because crude oil has different properties. I think the game still might kind of be buggy in the sense that this liquid vent will be able to push in liquid forever. Um, well, we, we can if it, if it has that error, we can um, we can fix that. Uh, the, 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 I think the way that these liquid vents work is they um, they test to see whether or not there's like one kilogram of liquid on top of them, and if there is, then they don't flow. And the problem is that um, you don't have one kilogram of crude oil per tile of crude oil, um, or, or one metric ton, I should say, not one kilogram. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and say plumbing, inside liquid pipe, ceramic, connect up this, and we'll start getting our oil in here. Um, no power, sure. We want to start also filling up this with hydrogen. So let's go ahead and say ventilation. Uh, we're just going to do a simple gas vent. Make this out of steel. And we'll pump a bunch of hydrogen in here. Once it once it fills up this area, we'll just close it off, seal it, seal it in. Okay. Should be relatively good to go now. Um, no oxygen here. Yeah, I just need to do something with hydrogen. I have options, but I'm not really using any of them right now. Okay. So now hydrogen should start pumping in here. And it should start forcing out all the other gases. Right? Slowly but surely. Well, once this fills up with hydrogen, uh, we will turn the system on. All right, seal this in, turn the system on. There's nothing else I need to do with this, right? Uh, we'll hook up the power. Automation-wise, this is all going. If we want to set up, we just want to turn off the whole system, we can just turn these off. Okay. Yeah, come to think of it. Deconstruct this. We'll replace it with a high-pressure gas vent just to make this go a little bit quicker. Right, this will be a somewhat slow process given the, the air pressures in this area are all relatively high. I just want to fill this up quick. And I, I don't mind, in fact, it's fine if I'd like overstuff this with, uh, with stuff. Um, 
ventilation, high pressure gas vent. Like so. On fast speed, sometimes they just sit around, which is weird. There's a job for you to do right here, man. All right. Whatever. Be that way. Um, and then we want to set up this area here to handle the, the crude oil that we're heating up. It's not We're not in a huge rush to do that, though. The main thing that we want to do is get this turned on, so I think we'll wait a little bit on that. So this is all powered up. Um, yeah, this is fine. We just want to turn on our turn on the rest of our system. Anything else I need to be keeping track of? We're gonna have a lot more food than I dug up the slime. I could expand my farms. We've got 40 people at this point. It's a lot of a lot of dudes. All right, so we're putting in hydrogen now. And once we've kind of flushed all the oxygen out of the system, like a little hydrogen will escape, that's fine. Once we've flushed all the oxygen out of the system, we'll, uh, we'll start with other stuff. No irrigation, huh? Wow, these temperatures are really falling. This has just been dormant for a long time. Um, I mean, I guess I don't need more pinch pepper nut. Whoops. Uh, cooking ingredient. Oh, I am out of pinch pepper nut. Okay. Um, sure. Let's. Yeah, activate if above 35. Let's go. What do I care? Yeah, start pumping it out. Cool this area down. I guess this uh, volcano's just been dormant a long time, so we haven't been getting that much uh, flowing up here. We can just run more. No biggie. This temperature is all still pretty good. 40, what, is he, what do these need? 35, above 35, yeah, so we should be fine. Okay, we're filling up this room with hydrogen. Uh, we like hydrogen because hydrogen is going to, um, hydrogen is going to have more thermal capacitance and uh, thermal conductivity than oxygen. If I go to the new material view, I mean, this is breathtakingly ugly, but it does give me the information that I wanna see. So we can see that most of the oxygen is being forced out. Um, how am I doing on my hydrogen supplies? We've emptied pretty much an entire bunker into this. That's interesting. Still just pure hydrogen, right? Cool. Okay. Um, and pretty dense too. Uh, so there's a little bit of CO2 in here. I'll just leave this steel in here. I don't care enough. We have, we have a lot of steel at this point. If I abandon a little bit to this, this build, that's fine with me. Yeah, I think this is good enough. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and say insulated tile, ceramic. Let's seal this off. And we're ready to turn this system on. So let's also say power, conductive wire, hook us up. Okay. Uh, I guess I do need to set these settings. Uh, activate if above negative 100. I mean, we can basically, we'll set it to negative 100 right now. Right now. Copy settings. Boom, 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 boom. It depends on whether or not we want to like liquefy this carbon dioxide, right? If we want to condense down the carbon dioxide, then some power issues. Okay, so we've we've stacked this full of uh, hydrogen at this point. There's a little bit of oxygen in here, but I don't really care. It's not gonna be the biggest deal. Um, I guess I'll take some algae. I don't know. What am I gonna use algae for? More Paku, sure, why not? Okay, so, we have this system going now, and this hydrogen should be much colder, right? Yeah, get more get more coal on these things. What's going on here? Still 40 tons of coal, so they just need this running. Okay, so this will start heating up. 
right? It's already up to 32 degrees. 33, 34-ish. Uh, All right, so this is going to start heating up, right? And the heat is going to be deposited into this crude oil. And the crude oil is then going to be pumped into these liquid reservoirs. And these liquid reservoirs are going to process that crude oil into petroleum. Then we're going to heat up the petroleum in the same manner, essentially. Um, <clears throat> yeah. These window tiles are highly conductive. The crude oil is heating up pretty much to the same temperature as the hydrogen, which is good. And now we have uh, all of this, right, being very cold, or getting very cold. So yeah, this is hydrogen at 37 degrees now. Before it was at like 130. We've run it through six of these, six times 14. Uh, we've basically decrease the temperature by like 84 degrees. It's still going to absorb a bunch of heat through this radiant pipe, of course, and end up back here at a relatively high temperature. But we can see this temperature starting to fall, right? Now that we've turned the active cooling system on. Okay, working great. Uh, I don't need these skill points. Unrefrigerated food. Where's my unrefrigerated food? Why do I have barbecue sitting out? That's not something we want sitting out. These are all full, huh? Um, you know what, sure. Copy settings. Let's get the rest of this going. Get more pitch pepper nut. It's pretty critical to a lot of stuff that we're doing. Do I have any other fridges anywhere? I guess we could say don't put cooking ingredients in here. Yeah, this is just going to be finished food. And we want all the cooking ingredients to go like down here. What do I have else in here? Barbecue, meat, pepper bread. Sure, I guess. That's fine. These pockets should make their way down to here, right? I think that's the reason why we have all these Paku in this area here, is that they are able to survive and get to here, is my understanding. Okay. And if not, they'll just turn into meat. Off they go. Flopping their way down. Um, what else did I want to do here? This is good, this is good. Are fine. Okay. So we have all of our irrigation, all of our pinch pepper nut. This is going to run down a little bit. Um, yeah, let's pump a little bit more in here, I guess. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to lower the temperature here and that'll stop this pinch pepper nut from going. But eventually, this volcano will turn back on. Right, it'll leave its dormancy period, and uh, this will all heat up again pretty nicely. Maybe I just need a larger liquid reservoir. In any case, this is all good to go. Uh, something like 90-10 is fine with me. Okay, cool. Um, so this is at 42 degrees. This will heat up as well. Yeah, we're, we're just going to heat this up. And uh, we can disconnect this hydrogen at this point. Doesn't really matter. The more thermal mass we have in here, I think the better. Given that our ultimate goal is really just to cool off this, this place. What are we down to? 90 degrees and still falling? That's good. Perfect, okay. So this active cooling system should chill off this entire rocket tube. And then uh, the only question is um, getting our petroleum supplies to a rocket. Um, I have a mangled saxophone and an Atmos suit. Let's also go ahead and sweep up any of this. Okay. Excellent. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and start planning out how we want to build our our petroleum refineries. Because that's how we're going to delete a lot of heat as well. And I guess let's also go ahead and start replacing some of the stuff. Um, yeah, so... Base, insulated tile, ceramic... Boom, boom. And we can de deconstruct this if we care to. We want to say base, window tile. Uh, I'll just use diamond. All across here. And we're gonna have the same setup essentially. Maybe with a different power system after I move uh, this out of the way. Our leftover coolant. This should all go somewhere. This is all just water, right? At a relatively hot temperature, though. Yeah, it's kind of heated up this area. That's fine. Okay. Um, I think we made decent progress. I think I'm going to cut the episode here. Also want to sweep up this. Yeah. I think we made decent progress. Um, we're going to start working on our second stage petroleum heating. Right? And then I think we start building the rocket. Actually, I think the next thing we do after that is we expand our liquid oxygen storage. And then we start building the rocket. I think that's the plan. Okay. I'm going to cut things here, and I'll catch you guys next time.